Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciated you guys uh, checking today's video out. Today we're going to be talking about treble hook sizes and talk about some of the myths around that because there is a lot of myths surrounding treble hooks. And I've, I've done some of this stuff in the past on treble hooks, but actually I had a request from a subscriber to go into this a little bit more detail because there is one common myth that I have found out about treble hooks I'm going to share with you guys and sort of explain to you um, how you can just hook a lot more fish by putting the right size treble on. So we'll get into it here. Okay guys, um, here's the deal with it. I have, for, for whatever reason, early on in my career, not just early, but even in the mid part of my career, back when I was at the top of my game, when I was winning tournaments a lot and making class, Bassmaster Classics and all that type of stuff, I lost a lot of fish with treble hook lures for some reason. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. I mean, I switched up hooks. I made sure they were razor sharp. Back then, you know, I'm talking about the late 90s, we didn't have the chemically sharpened hooks like we do now. You had to sharpen them with a file. So I got really good at sharpening hooks and uh, experimented with bending hooks out, different styles, changing this and that up. And I always had the, um, the belief system in my mind that I needed to use the biggest hook that I could get away with in order to hook the fish more. Just, it made sense. There's a bigger bite gap, a stiffer hook. You got a better chance of hooking that fish, uh, you know, if you got that combination of the right size and barb size and that type of stuff. But how I really figured out that this was a myth and the reason I was losing a lot of fish on treble hooks was because of the, because of my, my thought process, process on this is it happened by accident about probably 10 years ago or so, um, I was practicing for a series of tournaments over the course of the year. And I have, I've got a junk hook box. Like it's, it, it's just a, well, here it is right here. It's just, it's a box that I've got, you know, if I have a rusted hook or something, I just put in there, just a little junk box of hooks, just oddball sizes and, uh, ones that are, uh, you know, not tournament grade. And in practice, a lot of times I would put these cheap hooks on um, just so I wouldn't use my good ones. And I started noticing that a lot of times I would put these smaller hooks on that I that obviously looked too small for the bait simply because I really didn't care if I lost the fish or not in practice. And I started landing every fish with it. I started, I, I wasn't losing near as many fish as I did with the bigger hooks. And these were hooks that were like rusted out and stuff. So what I did, guys, is I, I started going backwards a little bit. I started putting like a little bit smaller hooks on all of my treble hook lures, like my jerk baits, my crank baits, all that type of stuff, a little bit smaller than what you think that would go on there. And my landing ratio went up tremendously when I started doing that. It's just, there was, it was like night and day. So now what I do is I've got this rule of thumb. The first rule of thumb that I do is any time that I put a treble hook on a bait, I make sure they're small enough where the hooks don't cross. That's the first thing I do about it. And the next thing, I want to make sure they're small enough to where it doesn't affect the action of the bait any. Because the smaller the hook you go to, the more action that your bait has. So what happens, what I've found out in this, it's not necessarily about needing a big diameter hook with a big barb to penetrate the fish to hold it. All you need is one point. And the, the key on that is penetration. The smaller the hook point and the smaller the diameter of the hook, the easier the penetration. That's why I started landing more fish is by going to those smaller diameter hooks and the smaller hooks, even though they look like there was too much mass of the bait there, I started landing a lot more fish. And um, I'll tell you guys right off the bat, um, and call it a plug if you want or not, but this is Aaron Martin's got me using this years, years ago. This is the Gamagatsu G Finesse treble hook here. Guys, ever since I went to this G Finesse treble hook, it's a nano-coated, chemically sharpened O'Shaughnessy bend on there. I lose far fewer fish on there. This has been a game changer for me. Small diameter hook, and I can get by with the smaller hooks on it. So the point of the video, guys, is, is I think one of the biggest myths uh, surrounding treble hooks is that you need to go as big as you can and for not to affect the action of the bait. That's not true guys. Go as small as you can and you will land a lot more fish. The first time I saw this, I blew it off. I was fishing with Yuki Ito 
Yuki, if you guys don't know Yuki Ito, he's the owner of Mega Bass in Japan. He's an incredibly talented Alan angler. And we were fishing together at Lake Fork in Texas. And we were throwing, he was throwing, at the time, it was this new bait Mega Bass had called a, a Griffin crankbait. And the thing had little bitty tiny hooks on it, almost like perch hooks. And I'm like, you know, are you going to change hooks out on that, Yuki? He says, no, you don't. It's not about the hook. It's about the rod you use. You know, you need to have the right rod action. He caught like three or four or five and six pounders on this little tiny crankbait. With the, I mean, on this crankbait with these little tiny hooks on it and never lost one. And I, at the time, it didn't register. I just thought, well, they probably just ate the thing and they'd, they'd landed, you'd have caught them on anything. That wasn't the case. He knew what the deal was that I finally figured out later. So guys, point of the video, go smaller on your treble hooks, on your hard baits, go smaller rather than bigger. You'll land a lot more fish with that. So hope that helps out guys. And please, if you hadn't had a chance, hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any videos. And we'll check with you guys later. See ya.